Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another session of podcast. I wish and I'm sure you will enjoy listening to the progress. What in your view is education? Whatever little that I know, I have understood about education that I will definitely try and share with you in this program. Okay. So once again, we are, we are, we are, we have to be very careful about the language. Mm-mm. Language always plays a role. True. Always plays a role. Or are we using the right language to portray or communicate what exactly that you want to communicate? Mm. In skills of communication, there is there is separate branch in psychology called skills of communication. Right. In skills of communication, a person who is trying to convey something using a media of a language to another person mm. should make sure he conveys the content what he wants to convey by using the right language mm. and make sure the opposite end heard, heard him, hearing him, mm. should pick up the content what he has explained. Mm. Have you heard this before? No. <laughs> this, this is a basic skills of communication. So we come to the word education. Education is the word etymologically as derived from a Latin word called educatio. Mm. Okay. Mm. That means together. Together. Mm. It's something close together. Mm. It's a classroom teaching or we are together. Mm-mm. We are students, we, we are all sitting in front of you, you are the teacher, Mm-mm. right? So education is, 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 is something that you go to a forum or you go to a school or a college or, you know, or any training center to learn mm. a particular art. Right. So. I, I, I am in a school, so I am in an English medium uh, school, in, 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 in mathematics session I am sitting. So they are teaching me mathematics in, in the media of language called English. Hmm. I also sit in a, in, a, in a classroom where I learn English. Every year after year I learn English. Okay. Hmm. Why I so much emphasize on language? is there is a word called discipline. Okay. You know this word, you mm. would have used this word hundreds of times. <laughs> yeah. The word discipline etymologically came from the word disciple. Mm. Yeah. Disciple is the one who goes to a guru to learn mm. a particular art mm. or skill, whatever. Mm. So when the discipline word came into the English existence, Discipline means to learn, T-O, to learn. Mm. That is the meaning, literal meaning in synonyms, if they write discipline, hyphen, T-O, to learn. Mm. But we use that word today mm. for what we have learned. Mm. You follow? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Say in, a, in, a, in an army march past, if all the army personnel have, you know, come stand in an order, mm. you are supposed to, you know, have a crisp iron clothes, polished shoes, brass of buckles, right? Mm. If you are not, what, what do we say? Lack of discipline. Lack of discipline. Mm. So you are using that word wrongly there. Really? You are using that word for what he has already learned. Yeah. That is why I am saying language plays an important role. If you really know the language, then your skills of communication will be extraordinarily good, provided if the opposite end also knows the same language. Right. So this is where the essence of education comes. So education is to learn together. A teacher may be a phenomenal knowledgeable guy in physics, but he cannot go down to teach physics to the children sitting in front of him, Hmm. to his levels and standards. Right. Because here, you are training up a brain 
you know, you, 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 you should have the tremendous quality to open up his cortex. Hmm. So I come down to your level. Hmm. I am 45 years of age as a physics teacher. And I know physics extraordinarily good. But you are, you are coming to me at the 8th standard, which I am going to try and teach you the basic physics. I should come down to your level. Hmm. Communicate with you. That's why I explained communication. Communicate to your standards, hmm. your level. And make sure that you understand what I try to explain. If I'm going to explain on high standards, which you are not going to understand, True. for which you know what is needed, hmm. a relationship between the teacher and the student at an harmonious level. Hmm. The student should like the teacher. Oh, yes. That means Very important. the teacher or, 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 the, or the lecturer or the professor should have a body language. Hmm. Try to be, create a friendly atmosphere there. I may be 52 years of age as a professor hmm. and you are a 22 year old disciple who is sitting in front of me. I should come down to your age level hmm. and be a peer group of yours. So that you start treating me as your brother or a friend, wherein education becomes possible. Mm. If I am going to stay in my shoes of my age level, and if I am going to be authoritative with you, there is no education there. Mm. So can I uh, put it as for education to happen, uh, what is needed first is the right condition. And then the atmosphere then the, what the you atmosphere. create hmm. is what is most important. Hmm. It is the first, the human relationship comes into play in education. Hmm. Your in out of force, hmm. education will not be there. Learning. Forcing you to learn. For learning, learning will not happen. No. Right. Yeah, a, a lot of education we see is out of... Loading you with a lot of stuff within a small span of time hmm. is not education. You rather learn only 10 number of things as against 100 number of things within a span of 3 months. Hmm. Because the brain has a potency to observe and retain. Right. Again here, hmm. it is going to be a verbal learning. Only a verbal learning. Verbal problem. learning. At least 80 In education, is... there are two things. Mm. One is verbal understanding. Mm. Second is practical realization. Mm. You can teach me about a Harley Davidson bike. <laughs> hours together. Mm. Maybe you can show visuals to me also. Mm. By seeing that in the screen, somebody riding the bike and you know, what big an engine, what is the capacity of the fuel tank and you know, what speed it can go, what tire it has, how many uh, levers of gear it has, mm. you know, what is the RPM it can generate, all that kind of thing. Mm. Go on and on and on about the electrical and the electronic, the mechanical, the aerodynamics of the bike. Yeah. But unless I ride it, mm. <laughs> I will not get that real education. I will only stand with Verbal understanding. Verbal understanding. Verbal understanding is not education. Education can never come under verbal understanding because if you're going to only stay with verbal understanding, then your brain is going to be a store of information with respect to language. It stops there. True. Wherein your diversity to think hmm. will not be there. What is education in a curriculum? Education in a curriculum is you study the principles of many areas of subjects in the school. When you go to the college, in primary education, you study the basic of language and numericals and whatnot. Hmm. 
Mm. In a secondary education, you study the principles. Mm. When you go to a college, you study the application in the basic degree. When you go to post-graduation, you study the research methodology of that area. Mm. When you go beyond that, you do research. To research, you have to think in different dimensions. And verbal understanding is not going to give you that dimension of thinking forever. True. Very, very true. This is what education is all about. Education should be in a harmonious condition wherein the instructor or the teacher or the professor should train the cognitive factor, the cognition of the person hmm. to diversify in its thinking of a particular area in which he is an expert. Hmm. He has to create number of experts like him or he has to create experts experts more than him. More than their him. education comes into play. Their education sets in. Their education happens. Yeah, I, I actually like What this. you guys are doing at the moment today mm -hmm. is you in the school or primary or secondary or college or you know higher educations, you train up people to get more and more and more and more of marks to get mark sheets and certificates and medals. True. The application of that knowledge or the information that we collect is you will be very, very, very poor. Little, very, very poor. Very, very, very poor. Very, very poor. So, what is education is not verbal understanding. Verbal understanding is the basic. Is a necessity. Practical realization in which you tune your brain, your cognition for diversified dimension of thinking where you can apply anything and everything and problem solving within the stipulated time. Mm -hmm. There is a beautiful word called capacity and efficiency in English. Yeah. What is the difference between these two words? It's really wonderful. When I give you a task that you should complete it in 180 seconds. Mm. If you're going to take 190 seconds, you're capable of finishing the task. Mm. If you're going to do it in 160 seconds, as against 180 seconds, you're efficient in doing the job. Efficient. Time frame comes there. Mm. You know, if you need to serve food in a war field mm. for 120 people of a battalion within half an hour, you should do it within 25 minutes because these guys are going to fill up their stomach and take their guns and run. Hmm. If you're going to take one and a half hours, the enemies are going to kill you. Even if it's the best meal. <laughs> yes. True. This is where efficiency come into play. Yeah. So now I think fairly you can understand what exactly is education. Yes, very much, very much. So, so um, today's, today's schools, Probably we don't have, you know, on the education system, we don't have that much of a control to make changes. But what would be your advice to um, to parents or, you know, people at home, elder siblings who are teaching? No, parents teenagers? by themselves do not, you know, we, we, you cannot expect a person to be a knowledgeable person in all the field. Right. You know, parents become responsible in bringing up their children. Mm. There is a concept by the scientific world by the psychology section also, a child's personality, characteristic trait, collection of characteristic traits molds the personality of an individual, right? right yeah. So, zero to six years hmm. is the main part of a child's life because after the age of six, there are many transformations takes place both, both mentally and physiologically. Hmm. The mold what you do from zero to six carries on for the rest of his life. Mm -hmm. This nobody understands. Mm. So if uh, you can learn this area, mm. you can bring up a fantastic individual. Mm. You know, in a in a in, in an army, I need fantastic warriors mm. for a good society. We need a sensible brain, which has really gone through education. Responsible. The real answers. education. The real education. Yeah. The real education is to be a part of the society. Hmm. Where social responsibility come into play. Right. Equip yourself to survive for yourself. Hmm. Equip yourself to make others around you to survive. Hmm. Equip yourself to make the number of people in your society to be helped. 
that means the real education is to make your life useful to for the people around you not only within your family beyond your family to your society after all you belong to the human species right this is what is real education i think a, a lot of education today the focus is more getting individual better marks better you know as you said this medal or this certificate what then, is your purpose of that education in the end exactly we we don't look at the are purpose. you capable of handling that area of excellence mm. is what matters you may be a iim student with high flying marks in an institute of management from ahmedabad mm. but you will not know how to treat your wife is that education true <laughs> you will not know how to respect your parents is that education mm. you will not know how to recognize your siblings is that education mm. that's not education that's not education you are a person who trained yourself in a small fray of board to execute certain things wherein you make glorious money who will not know how to spend your money who will go and drink and drug and spoil your health mm. in the end without knowing what life you are supposed to lead yeah right. education is a broad framework education in the end is to how to live a balanced life as an individual you need now to become a uh, uh, george washington and a mahatma gandhi to embed yourself in the history books which people will remember you for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years to come now mm. you have to be a responsible human being for which your learning and education should help you right that's it this is all that i have understood about education beautiful very very uh, wonderful sir so uh, finally one small question Please. on um, the ancient tamil saints uh, with respect to or their views on education we heard the views on the sociological learning. structure that they had there are enough of literatures available on mm. the sociological structure that they had Hmm. was so beautiful those days that they had the capacity to share hmm. the problem here the present day modern days education they don't teach you to share hmm. you got the point yeah yeah hmm. we are not willing to share we have become more self centered hmm. in our all our activities because we have not been taught or we have not been educated to share the ancient tamil civilization had a beautiful sociological setup in which the education was you, you may be a master of many arts but the basic education and the basic learning given to you is to share hmm. and that one quality kept a society which was very healthy those days which is not there today that's why economic disparity has set i wish you understand this yes yeah very thank you thank you so much sir thank you very much for spending your quality time thank you very much for your attention i wish you enjoyed this session see you later